tour through the Southeast Division is not going very well for the Brooklyn Nets. Losses to the Orlando Magic, the Washington Wizards, and now the Atlanta Hawks. This is a team that the Nets have controlled over the last few years. They were 8-0 and in their last eight meetings with Atlanta. That streak comes to an end. The Hawks just gained confidence as the night went on, shot it really well from three-point territory, and just about everybody contributed for Atlanta in this victory for Lloyd Pierce's squad. And the question marks keep coming up for the Brooklyn Nets about where is the focus, mm -hmm. where is the level of intensity, and the sense of urgency that's much needed, and still where they sit in their playoff positioning. And this is an important stretch that we discuss with teams that are right behind them, Orlando, Washington, yep. in the standings, and this Atlanta team that came out hungry. And you said it, they were confident, they were motivated. They not only shot nearly 49% from the three-point line, despite the fact they are the worst shooting three worst three-point percentage yep. shooting team in the league but they had 41 points between second chance opportunities and points off turnovers and a lot of that is just hustle type plays and the Hawks came through with them it had looked like the Nets had stabilized their season they went eight and three over an 11 game stretch they found a rotation that was working Karis LeVert playing at a very high level Spencer Dinwiddie as well and then it became interchangeable in the middle. Jared Allen one night, DeAndre Jordan another. But none of that is happening right now for Brooklyn. Dinwiddie certainly trying to take over in some games. Levert the same thing. But the team concept just has not been there. It has not been the same collaborative effect that we saw during that positive stretch. In, in a lot of what we were talking about was the continuity offensively, the type of fluidity, the way in which they were moving the basketball. And, you know, it, it's not just what's happening offensively. The, the big concern is what's going on defensively. And that was the area of strength for the Nets when yep. they were playing at their best. That's what started to shift and turn around how good they were able to be in getting stops and what that did in generating that type of, of offensive push. And so for Kenny Atkinson, these guys They've talked the past few games about going back to the drawing board, looking at film, figuring out areas that they need to shore up. Um, but disappointing and surprising that once again it happened here. A lot of the same recurring themes keep coming over and over before they head to Miami against a very tough-minded team. Yeah, I think you nailed it. In the month of February when the Nets began to show some serious progress, they could count on their defense game in, game out. That has not been the case over this stretch. Orlando did as it pleased offensively when they needed to. Washington, same situation. And then the Hawks. Uh, this was one of those nights that the Hawks would love to bottle and break out when necessary with this young group. It is back to the drawing board for the Brooklyn Nets. Second half of the back-to-back -back against the Miami Heat. We'll have the action for you here on Yes.